Cougars win two more races. By the time the series reaches Marlboro, Maryland, Cougar is now leading the competition for the Manufacturers' Championship. Two new drivers, stock car aces Kale and Leroy Yarbrough, have temporarily replaced Gurney and Jones, while Ed Leslie will drive the second Cougar. Perhaps more than any other race thus far in the series, this can be anyone's victory. Cougar and Mustang are battling hoof and claw for the lead. But Mark Donahue's Camaro has won the pole position, and he knows this track better than any other driver here. After all, he learned to drive at Marlboro. The start, which is frequently a short run to disaster here, gets off cleanly. Donahue, Leslie, Jerry Titus, and Dr. Dick Thompson are jammed as tight as nuts in a candy bar going into the meandering first turn. But they all come out of it. First few laps, the lead is passed around faster than a good story at the Elks Club picnic. Titus takes it, then Leslie. Finally, Donahue ducks under the Cougar on a tight corner and comes out on top. The Marlboro track is tricky and demanding. Its endless series of bumps and corners places a formidable strain on car and driver. A feel for the course and its varied rigors can be a tremendous advantage to a driver, as Donahue is proving. He's slowly edging his car farther and farther ahead of the rest of the pack. back the two Cougars and Jerry Titus's Mustang are grappling for second place and a clear shot at the rapidly vanishing Donahue. Up till now, Camaro has been a sleeper in the Trans Am competition, never placing better than second. But the potential for victory has always been there, and today the blue and gold rocket, meticulously prepared by Roger Penske, is really showing its form. Obviously, being the local hero doesn't hurt a driver's performance. Cale Yarbrough displays the flamboyant style that has thrilled stock car crowds as he almost flies around the track. His lap times are outstanding, but his driving tactics are eating up tires and costing him precious time in extra pit stops. Leslie is in the same lap as Donahue. Jim Adams has taken over the Titus Mustang, falling a full lap behind in the process. And coming out of the pits with Leroy Yarbrough at the wheel, the number